Hey, what's going on guys? It's Revo. I am doing a video about uh, this new game called Hawken. It's been out for, well, it's been in uh, alpha and beta for quite a, quite some time now. I've seen it here and there, haven't really done much research on it, but um, uh, it looks like a cool, fun game. Uh, they're saying on the website, for example, they're saying it's going to be a, a mix between Counter-Strike and Mech Warrior, which just sounds awesome. So, uh, firstly, I'm going to have to thank Mike P. Ronin uh, for hooking me up with this. Um, I guess this is the second closed beta event. Uh, only going on for, I think there's two days left, ends on the 13th. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this. is actually the second time I've opened the client up. Uh, the first time I just wanted to make sure that uh, my frap settings were good enough to allow me to play decently uh, while I'm actually uh, while I'm playing. I mean, w having it record decently while I'm playing. Uh, so this is uh, this game's done with the Unreal Engine 3. Uh, it's said to launch on December 12th, 2012, so it's exact, pretty much exactly a month from today this game will be available. Uh, it's going to be free to play um, with things you can buy, I'm assuming. Uh, I've actually never really looked into this, so this is pretty much going to be uh, completely new to me. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the garage. Alright, so it looks like you have a number of mechs that you can load out go to the mech shop uh, so I was reading in the notes it looks like I have they've awarded everybody 4800 points um, I could probably sit here all day and mess with this uh, but what I think I'm going to do um, is pick the basic mech and then just do some footage and then maybe come back customize my mech and then do some more footage on that so yeah uh, this is the game, let's see, so there's the garage, deals, rankings, main, that stuff is not selectable yet, let's see, and then you have the profile, which shows experience, kills, all that fun stuff that comes with uh, playing a game for a long time, so I'm just going to go to friends, settings of course, key bindings, Pretty much all the basics of pretty much every game I've ever played. Uh, let's just go to deploy. So it looks like training is going to be there eventually. Matchmaking. That's kind of cool that they do have matchmaking. Let's see. Let's do US West. Let's see. Siege. Deathmatch. Let's just do deathmatch and see if this mat how this matchmaking thing works out since this is the first time I've pretty much loaded this game, maybe it'll hook me up with some noobs. Alright, so I pretty much have an assault mech here with a submachine gun as the primary uh, or actually as something that I can swap. So there's an assault rifle, I can swap it to a submachine cannon. Heck, let's go with the submachine cannon. And then there's the, the rocket. I'll probably keep the rocket. Looks like we've got as well and weapons coolant removes all weapon heat build up for a short time well, that's fancy all right well let's go ahead and launch get some gameplay all right so it pretty much plays like any fps that i've ever played um, really smooth i mean i just recently have been playing mech warrior so this should be a nice uh, difference because MechWarrior is very, very slow. Fancy that, that guy's gonna shoot at me. It looks like a turret. I'm just gonna get out of here. And this is not gonna work out in my favor. So I'm most likely going to get wrecked over and over again, but hey. So spacebar uh, lets you utilize your jump jets, which uh, you do have limited, of course, uh, which is indicated by the, the little orange um, indicator there in the middle section of the console. 
Uh, looks like shift is going to give you kind of like a burst of speed. So you can burst left, burst, oh, and there's a turret, fun. Or burst right, probably to avoid things like rockets and grenades. And looks like there's an enemy. So I'm gonna fire rockets. And did he die? Apparently he died, cool. Let's see. Looks like the edge of the map. And another mech. And I'm gonna go down. Maybe if I hit him with my rockets. Uh, okay, it looks like I have overheated for the first time. That's that's fun. <coughs> yeah, so I actually forgot there is an overheating element uh, in the game, much like Mech Warrior, uh, which is indicated by I believe, yeah, those two orange bars on the side of the crosshairs there. So that's something you have to watch out for. That turret's annoying. Oh, nice. Wait for that to die down a bit. And that was pretty damn quick. These guys are probably like, wow. I'm just trying to experience the game firsthand, and there's turrets all over my face. Yeah, so I do believe you can heal or you can repair by pressing C. Oh yes, yeah, so you hold C and it goes ahead, it goes ahead and repairs your uh, mech up to full HP, which apparently is 675, indicated on the lower left there of the HUD. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, go find a fight. Can't hit a rock and save my life, and I'm overheating. There we go. Go down! Yes! And that's what overheating looks like. I don't see anybody yet. Alright, I'm gonna try to heal up here. Look around. Alright, to heal from critical all the way it's about full, it's about 15 seconds or so, that's probably that's probably an overstatement. Alright, good as new. Back and ready to fight. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not sure how I, completely how I feel about this game. I'm really tired, so I'm not as enthusiastic as I would be. But, uh, but it feels really good. Um, and the combat, the combat reminds me of Guns for some reason. If any of, if any of you have ever played Guns, I don't know why. I can't justify that, but um, the combat seems like it would be, it would be very intuitive once you get uh, familiar with what's going on. But uh, let's just finish this guy off first. And overheated. Let's see if I can escape miraculously. And I can't walk off this ledge, that's cool. Oh, but I can get blown off the ledge. Wow, I'm taking a beating. Maybe if I go over here, this guy won't be able to kill me. Nope. Anyway, um, the, <clears throat> the mechanics that the developers have put into place are just perfect for skill-based combat. And just, you know, good old outmaneuvering your opponent and, uh, of course, you know, aiming and uh, skill and reflex and stuff like that are going to take take a toll on, on your gameplay, but it's nowhere near like a Call of Duty or a, a, a Counter-Strike style, I mean, whereas you're twitching and, and getting one-shot one, one shot kills with ops and stuff like that. But, uh, 
Oh god, no, I'm going to get pancaked here. Maybe if I fly over here, no one will see me. Okay, just kidding. If, maybe if I hide in here, no one will see me. Okay, I'm being very obvious about this. Alright, maybe I can heal up and not die. Seems like nobody wants to chase me. Alright. Almost full health. I can handle that. Okay. Let's come out and see what we can do. I don't really want to face that big guy, but I think I'm going to. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Firing rockets, shooting missiles, and... Er... Firing rockets and shooting uh, machine guns and uh, gets the job done. And okay, hey, what's up, buddy? Ooh, yeah, it's really critical that you hit with your rocket. Um, it seemed like the first fight was won strictly because um, it hit him directly with the rocket. I'll have to fiddle with this and build my guy because I'm sure there's plenty of options. Just too bad. It's going to go back into being exclusive and I won't be able to play on. I think that starts on the 13th. Oh well. Comes out in a month. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very refreshing. Um, of course, you're still going to want to play your, your Counter Strike and your Call of Duty and all that, but. This will be a nice game to come in and play. Um, much faster paced than Mech Warrior, as you can see. But yeah, just playing this for a, maybe a, a couple days, a week, and you will just be... Uh, the, the combat, once you run into someone who is at your skill level or above, it could I can see where it could get really exciting. And since he's running away from me, I'm gonna run away from him. And oh, what, 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 what? No. Okay, I'm gonna heal up in wide open. All right. Ooh, rocket hit! Yes. Yeah, that's right. Take two rockets. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, nope. Can't take three rockets? Okay. And I can't take both of them, so I'm going to back up because I am overheating. Oh, God. Give me, <laughs> leave me alone. I'm going to try to scoot out of here and heal up behind this thing. Okay, that obviously didn't work. So that's what happens when you try to heal and someone attacks you. You die instantly. I'm gonna try to get up on top of this building here. And maybe I'll just rain terror from above. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up? That took me down quite a bit, about 200 HP. Heal that back up and then go engage him. Good to go. Oh, you want to heal? How about you take a rocket? Yeah, see, that's not what, that's not what you want to happen when, you, when you're healing up. Um, I like being up high here. It's kind of nice. You can see things. Ooh, and that's a hit. Did I kill him? Yes, stolen. And now I'm going to run. Yeah, that's right. I take your kills and run away and hide and heal. Oh, I barely even need to heal up. Alright, bad things are happening behind me, so... What's up, dude? Ooh, ooh. Okay, and, and there's what I believe to be an EMP. 
can't do anything. That was brilliant on his part. That's really going to affect the fight. Ooh, but a rocket's going to take him out. Nothing he can do about that. Um, yeah, landing those rockets is huge. Just direct impact really uh, moves the fight in your favor. And I, I'm actually going to relocate here to a more safe place to heal. And I'm on fire, so I should probably take care of that. Fancy. Okay. I'm back and ready. So you could see that uh, you can really just kill everyone and then heal and kill everyone. So you could end up being undefeated in one of these matches um, pretty easily. Looks like I'm seven and seven. I guess that's not too terrible for being a complete tard at this game. But uh, yeah, I could see you. Like, like Sharpshooter's 23 and 4. Yeah, that guy's probably just shooting people down and healing up and hiding. And that sort of jazz. Is that a... What is that sparkliness going on there? What is that? I don't like it. Oh, I think... What? Did I just get something? I just, I just believe I just picked something up. And I'm being shot at now. See, this is what happens when you get the low ground. It's nothing good can become of it. I'm already at 473 for apparently no reason at all. Apparently I'm scraping across the buildings there. I'm not sure if that does damage or not. Maybe if I stand on top of something, I'll blend in more. Alright. I'm ready to go. I'm going to do one last battle, and then I'm going to end this. Seems like enough content for this. And then I'm going to fiddle around, and, I'm gonna, and then I'll uh, come back and talk about what I did and why. I'm sure I'm, I'm, sure I'm forgetting something or missing something. And that looks like... Yeah, and what, the reason why I say this reminds me of guns so much is because of the burst effect of uh, charging forward. It's very guns-like. And there's a guy behind me. And there he is. And missed the first rocket. I'm gonna land. And I am going to shoot a rocket now since he's crammed in a corner and then another rocket just kidding I don't have it yet ooh hit him in midair is it gonna be enough yes it is right as I overheat alright guys I might come back in uh, with uh, after I play with the uh, uh, the uh, customization of the mech and then I'll cut back in alright